I need I need to build a you separate bathroom. Don't need any biotin. Oh my god! Never shave your facial hair again. I hope we're all clear on that. Never. <laughs> <laughs> we're all clear. All right, well. I'm getting used to him having facial hair. Actually, the Andres I knew was incapable of growing facial it, hair. No, it's, it's, yeah, I didn't it, was, it was it was it was violent and offensive <laughs> when he walked no. into the room with a shaved face. He was like. The Colombian look. dirtiest <laughs> Justin Bieber you've ever seen in your life. Look, I'd rather him put my gas station Colombian he's Bieber. Getting roasted, so he's getting roasted, so he's like, I gotta deal with this. Like, we clearly loved you, but like, we were Baby in a face date. Baby face Andres is not it. Not the long hair. You can't have both. I like it. I think he looks great. Yeah, like unless unless you're Fabio. This makes sense. Unless you're Fabio. Yeah. Unless you're Fabio, you can have long hair, but you have to have the facial hair to no, have long hair. I was gonna say, hair. I agree with yeah. that. As someone who had hair longer than Andres, like without facial hair, it would have looked so fucking mad. Yeah. Like long Just hair, like a little with, like, too might have like a raggedy beard too. With it, like, oh, without my facial least hair. favorite thing about facial hair, hair is the long, oh, unkempt I, beard. See, I couldn't get it that long. I was just like, brush it, trim it, condition it. It is not. Hard. You do the yeah. same thing to your hair on your head. Just do it. If like I can oh, get my like, hair looking training, like this, I was like, yeah, wow, what a you difference. can get this to be fine. Well, I also think that long also, beards don't give me fucking are like rash every time I make out with you. Like condition your beard. So oh my god, staff infections from beards. Don't. Disgusting. Yeah, no, oh. awful. The Wait, fact what? that that's a thing. You can't. Yes. So mm. poop part poop particles when you go to the bathroom. Get stuck in your beard if you don't wash it long enough, and if you make out with a girl and you're like, blah, blah, it's on blah, 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 you're rubbing her fucking skin off with wiry ass facial hair. First of all, it's and then it gives you a staph infection that stays for like three weeks. And not only that, hold on, <laughs> if you have a thick long beard, and there's more, <laughs> and there's more. Did you know? And uh, if you have a thick long beard, I feel like it's just hiding shitty DNA. Because you're disguising, hot take, hot take, hot take. You're, you're disguising your <laughs> jawline, your feminine rounded jawline. No, they're hiding their chin. And you like shape mm -hmm. it. You cover that part of your face yeah, because you so know that you don't what have. What the fuck? You're no, fine. I have a good, no, I I have not. A good jawline. I know that the Dodgers you're are simply called me Not you. Line. Not you guys. I didn't mean you guys. <laughs> I know that the Dodgers are simply called me. He's like, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> Not all of them. You look great. <laughs> no, I. No, thank you. you do Mono look. You do look good with the beard. Not your beard. I mean, you're like, allowed I'm to have one. Like, I can see what you're saying though, because like, he sees it. even He's with the beard, if yeah. you don't have the jawline for the beard, it's yeah. Look horrible. Also, no yeah. what you basically, do. if you shave your beard and you look like an infant or a prepubescent boy. Eh, the I only, knew it, and I'm gonna know. The you. only reason that I started growing out my facial hair is because I, I started because I realized I could look like Jack Sparrow. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, it. he did so good at the at the, at the I saw those pictures. Those were really good. Those yeah, really no, you good. did pull it off. Well, Very well. I, I mean, I spent so well. I spent a decent amount of money on that like outfit, and then I had to like learn his like you know <laughs> like especially with the alcohol works great. <laughs> This is days to be. Listen, good old Jack. His <laughs> wrist. You know, he got the wrist. It's the wrist down. It's just you. listen. Yeah. He practiced. Like, he really did. He really it's did. like half-ass conducting. Hello. Hey. Hey. Let's draw conducting. It is yeah, half-ass like, conducting. You're right. I've got two things that I need to know. One, <laughs> where is the rum? <laughs> two, where is the rum? <laughs> Why? No, two would be women. Listen, love. <laughs> love. Birds. This is watered Look. down whiskey. <laughs> I love it. Mate. <laughs> I gotta get more into it, but I, yeah, I got it pretty much down. I even have, I had the drunk. You pass in Orlando. I had the drunk, like, rundown, too. Okay, da, to be da, fair, da, da, da. it's not actually because he's da, drunk. Da, da, da. That's literally just ship legs. Probably. Because you're so used to it, like, because uh, the reason uh, he walks like that is yeah. on the ship, you're so used to swaying back and forth on the waves. Yeah. You walk like that to keep your balance, so that when you walk on land, since you're, um, you're stable at that point, you're just so used to moving, like, with whatever. That's why he walks like that. Yeah, it's, it's true. Like, like, that's, like, your sea, like, legs sea legs means that you're, like, used to it. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you're used to so that's why you're, like, he, that's why he always has, like, His it's it's also, like, they say that he's like this because he kind of, like, lost his mind like because he was like out stranded, in, on, stranded island. on an island yeah yeah, yeah. but i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of stories as to why but yeah i got the rundown fucking perfect okay. i once took in that a while, down i catch myself walking like that once so i'm like what the fuck's wrong with me 
I'm like, yeah, like, I'm like, walking, like, what are the other thing in a line? I'm just like. Or what is it called? The chism. It's the chism. It's, Literally. It's, it's on the spectrum. TikTok told me I hit my hips on countertops because I have autism. So. You have to. It's yeah. a new WebMD. You have a tumor. You have fatal brain cancer. You're dying because you have a Turtle. Did you wear sure a long neck? You dumb bitch. You have a headache? Have you have a brain tumor. <laughs> It's basically Grey's Anatomy. Like, I guarantee if I Headache? got tested, they would Tumor. Probably, you know what I've been obsessed with? Bar holes for everyone. You ever seen The Good Doctor with the autistic doctor? No. I, I thought about looking at it. I love that show. And I don't even watch TV. I don't know what's wrong with me. I like House and I like The Good Doctor. I do like House, but he kind of pisses me off. But that one guy is so... Just, oh, the good doctor won't piss you off. It'll do the opposite. You see, it's so good. Do you see the, the house episode where he had like an 18, a 17 year old stalker and this like chick like wanted his dick really bad? I purely watch house for what the you say uh, show Jamie, man. your job has finally come <laughs> in. Jamie, <laughs> my boy, we got a Jamie. Now we can look this shit up. Look up house slash like house stalker. What's the blonde guy's name though? He's like Australian. Oh, the the, the tall, the blonde guy. Yeah. The only reason I watch House. No, House is Daddy. Oh no, no. Like the him. blonde, the the she beautiful was. boy. Yeah, that one. <sighs> if he's single and my age, not forty five. Yeah. Hey, what up? up? Yeah, just look up like a YouTube hey, episode. Up. Loyal fan for years. <laughs> Heard your hey, if you get famous off this Heard fucking podcast, you can, <laughs> you can get him. All right. I will, no, I'll you just telling on the podcast like right now. On I don't know who's Paul. Have you noticed? Have you looked at the heights of every man on Grey's Anatomy? They're all five seven. Every single one of them. No. Freaking McSteamy, McDr- whatever it's the big, the greater one, not the one with the hair, the other one that like goes with Lexi. He seems huge, right? I refuse to produce five six men. Okay, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Can I, I just, just as you're, a woman, you're taking a real you. German My route with this, okay? <laughs> we gotta, you gotta chill out Let's before you a, say something. Can we start a, a the superior race? No more five just five seven. No five guys. six. I'm just saying, when you get a five one girl who mates with a six four man, you get a five six man. It's fine if she goes out a girl, but that's not how China just, viewed uh, it. Hit the mute. So, oh yeah. No, yeah. this is like an opinion. And then run the ad. So if it's I'm five bad. four, how yeah, tall does my potential mate need to be like, for my children to not, not be narcissists? Like not six even. feet. Just go and say six feet. Because I'm five but nine, but and I have a six nine. Girl. I have to have a six foot mate. <clears throat> okay, wait, wait, wait. Four. Now we're we're doing a little work for tomorrow's episode. Oh shit! You know what I mean? Oh, you're right. But no, no, it's okay. in that Look, here's the thing. Well, Google it. Yes. We're gonna look We're it up and up. come back tomorrow. We'll look it up. We'll what, look it up. But here's the what stats say. Like here's the great thing about having a podcast that no one listens to. <laughs> <laughs> we can, say I whatever listen we can do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> right? Once people start listening, then we're like, oh, okay, we can't then talk about that. But for now, like, it doesn't matter. I Plus, can say that, and look, that is my opinion, and I'm allowed to. He's learning how that. to be Jamie. This is America. You know, Jamie's like boom. Because he's been paying, you know, you know how much he gets fucking paid, probably? Why do we keep probably calling him? He's not it. Jamie, he's Jeremiah. I know, why do we keep calling him? It's always Jay's. It's always Jay's. Were you actually getting his name wrong? No, there's a Jamie on the, what oh, podcast yeah. was that? Thank you. I was, that's what I was asking. I yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. Am I out of the loop, about. or are we just but eating But wait, dicks? wait, no, hold on. Okay. Good. Great. Height. Glad we all know. Is the hot topic of the night. Did you it, not find it? That's true. Height. Height is the topic just of the night. Height in the... Uh, house MD. I had to. Uh, young... I had to. Young girl. Just put house age young girl. It's house MD. House age young girl. It Don't type like that. It's a perfect thing to look up on YouTube. It's, I swear Absolutely. to God, it's a real episode. You need to like, put show. There you go. You there you go. There you go. There. Hit that one. Hit that get, one. Like, they're going to break down the door girl. and be like, what are y'all doing in here? Here, skip, skip more towards like... <laughs> How to catch a predator. Yeah. This is the whole episode. <laughs> you know what they... They stopped that show because an all attorney the killed him. Nine minutes. No, yeah, it was like... A, wasn't it like a senator? I thought it was a senator. No, it was a public defender. It was like the state attorney. Okay, I'll just say... This is the Are most... we shocked it was a public defender? No. Oh, wait, we're supposed to watch this. This is the episode where some chick, like, falls in love with him. She's for, like, 17. Oh, here's my dad again. That's Blair Waldorf. Yeah, me too. From Gossip Girl. 
Really no like shit. That's no, it's Blair. not. That's Blair. Whoops. Look at this. Blair turned 18. Oh! <laughs> That's Blair. That's... Oh my gosh. Ew. How? Look at this. Ew! Ew! Why did he act like at that? At least go for Serena, you disgusting little perp. I'll do a face mode after. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Ew. He's like 45 years old. No. Okay, I'm sorry. When you're 45 and you see a fucking hunk of a man that's fucking just ripped and beautiful, you're not going to be like... Not if he's 17. No. Age? Blue, dude, these days... It's just people... a number? I was going to say... What the hell? She's, really nice right now with all she's going to German way. I'm going to pedo way. <laughs> <laughs> this... This is not working out. This is not working out. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, yo, like, I mean, Japan, you know, ages is I do like remember this episode. I do remember this episode. I'm going to be honest. I do. Sorry. I need to access through the shirt. This will work. <laughs> you know he's British? Yeah. We, talk, we talked about it. He has a good singing voice as well. That's interesting. Hugh okay. Laurie? I hate to be this person. Hugh Laurie? Realistically now. speaking, there would be a female nurse in the room and none of this would happen. Well, she specially asked for him. And there would care. still have to be a female nurse. You can't just have a male doctor in a room. You look, gender uh, is a spectrum. You can these days. if it's pertinent. All right, skip to the part where, uh, like, she meets him in the in like the garage on his motorcycle. I think it's right there. Yeah. Olive Garden's new Italian kitchen. Sponsor us, Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'll log into my YouTube. Zupa Toscana for life. I will eat gluten if you sponsor us. <laughs> Zupa Toscana is gluten free. It's their so most popular good. soup. It's, it's very so delicious. Good. So she ends up meeting him like in the parking lot. Like if this was a dude, of she does. it would be so disgusting. And she's sitting on his I was motorcycle. Say, I would be so mad she's at clearly her, like, not like, unhealthy. Like, what did she go to the hospital for? Was she treated? Is she fine? Yeah. <laughs> She just wanted him to look she at her tits. She went in That's yeah. what she went in? She, uh, Did you get charged for that visit? She wouldn't. He would. I've never, I did not imagine seeing Blair as a blonde. This is crazy. I don't like it. No, she seems very slutty as a blonde. She's very powerful. As a <laughs> I think that's also like just her she, acting. She runs that shit No, as a she just, her no, she is deserves girl. a darker yeah. hair color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's some girls that can't pull off certain hair colors. Okay. We're good. Like, I know I can't be a redhead unless I have eyeliner on. And it's just a fact That is so true. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Literally. I, can, I, I look you... amazing with eyeliner yeah. with a red hair, yeah. but if I take it off, I look sick. Did you know I'm named after Jessica Rabbit, but I look like such a whore with red hair? <laughs> we <You're> all do. <laughs> I look like We Jessica all Rabbit. do. I mean, that's not the only thing you're missing. Gingers, get Ooh. your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> you're so mean, Jesus. <laughs> Someone has to be. Look, you're telling me. Look, you think Jessica Rabbit? What do you think? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You think we don't think him for three years straight. That's so. I dyed funny. my hair you orange. You totally pull that off. I absolutely. Oh, I did. did. I did. No, did like the my mother right, named me after there. Jessica Rabbit, and I did like the years. polar opposite. Bro, I can't believe you took a shot. Like she of got Roger. <laughs> Even with eyes, my guy, this is... Yeah, it was disgusting. Why did you think that I, I gagged? <laughs> I was like, take it with the... T- t- you know yes, what? that's who I made that, like... You know... Hey! <laughs> yeah, you don't look anything like her. It's me. Maybe. If you got some fake I've tits. never even tried to, like, dress up for her as Halloween or anything. Would you guys... I'm like, I'm not about to disappoint Would you guys ever get her. fake tits? No, my tits were great. So you're giving Jessica uh, I'm fine, dude. <laughs> I'm good. All right, all right, then what about a lift? No. I think... Nah. No. They really? have to go through the areola. They have to cut out your areola. They ruin your nipples. Like, they, they don't... They literally... Understand. They can't get... They you don't, take them off. They ruin your nerve connection between They literally your cut around your nip, take your nip off, set it to the side... And lift your tits and then put your nip back on. You think your nip's gonna be round again? Hold no. on. No. Wait. Talk about girls, pepperoni girls tits. Girls get so, breast reductions all the time. Okay, yeah, and yeah. they ruin Fuck your nipples. That. They I ruin it. I would have done that when I was 16 when I had a triple D and I lost 100 pounds, went down to a B cup. I thought now I was gonna I'm have to get to one and look at me now. Double D you know, again. Okay. Shit changes. Yeah. And the thing is. Don't be so eager to get a breast reduction because they might disappear on their own. 
Yeah, and this and the thing is, is that you think that your nipple is supposed to point towards the sky? How the fuck are you supposed to be feed a baby? Yeah, no. If you're holding a baby like this, what's the best boob position? Down, bitch! It's <laughs> downward dog booby nipple position yeah, she's right. she's to feed right. a baby. She's That's right. why boobs sag when you reach sexual maturity. There's a reason why everybody's but boobs are perky when you're twelve. Doesn't fake tits grow in like? Breastfeeding, can you not breastfeed if you have like? It I depends on if it's over or under the muscle. Water in front of your boob, I just feel like I wouldn't want my kid to suck on that anyway. Well, it can also cause immune disorders. It feels like a Dasani like boob Basically, station. Basically, leave your kid. Dasani yeah. boob station. <laughs> you stick your chest into a vending machine. He's like, bro. and it just like, <laughs> like sucks. He's like, ups. it just pops right out, dude. There's no like forming. Like, what's up with this no. titty? <laughs> You'd be like, well, your mommy was one time getting cheated on, so she felt like she needed yeah. to change something, <laughs> change about, something herself. about herself to make herself feel better. <laughs> no, my mom herself. has an older <laughs> friend that got her. Boobs done. My like, mom and my grandma both they have look boob jobs. Great, but like <laughs> the rest of you still Aren't looks like family? the alien from Isn't Station. your family Mormon? Yeah. That's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, like, it is. Actually. If your husband requests <laughs> yeah. that you get plastic surgery for his sexual benefit to create more children, who the it hell? Is allowed. Who the hell put Emma Stone? As yeah, as, I'm like, come on, like you might as well put me, like Jesus. Yeah, see, I was, I pulled that up because so I was like, I'm gonna give Jess some credit. Here. Yeah, like come on, at least we didn't put La La Land's ass in there. Like, good I don't lord, know. no. Have you ever not been blonde? I don't think I've ever like mm. thought about My you. My hair or was even... like strawberry blonde for a bit, and it was beautiful. Like I had a wonderful hairstyle. Shout out to Abby. She lives in. <laughs> New Mexico, so... Ten Why are so many Mormons getting boob jobs? Oh, my That's God. Yo, in Jake. your fucking faces. In All your right. faces. Oh, my God. I told you. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, hey. You want to hear something funny? Yo, my boy. BYU armpit crabs. <laughs> no, listen. What? BYU university armpit crabs. Brigham Young University <laughs> armpit crabs. Look it up right crabs now. Crabs in the armpit? Yes, because they're... Bro, they'll do anything but fuck. Like, why yeah, am I just like so uneducated in all this? I don't. I do ah, know. a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. A rumor about crabs outbreak at Brigham Young University sparks talk about armpit sex. It's not a rumor. <laughs> There's like seven articles about it. How do you How do you talk to your kids about armpit sex? Like, look, look, Joseph Smith. He Shave wants... your armpits before armpit sex or else you're going to get crabs. There you go. Do it anyways. I just want to take it a step further backwards. How do you figure out armpit sex? What do you mean? You put the penis no, like, in how between do you... <laughs> yes, the armpit. But as a Mormon young individual, how do two Mormon children come up with that? Uh, Mormon, two... I guess they looked at this. That's truly what Mormon they boys sexy. aren't allowed to look at shoulders. They Googled it's vagina, immodest. and they were like, your armpit kind of looks like that. Yeah. You, know how, you know how it started? There was one dude that was like, you know, dude, why can't we look at shoulders? Some other guy's like, I don't know. Be like, well, let's check it out. And then some girl, like, shows her shoulder, he's like, oh, can I put my dick on that? <laughs> and she's like, she's like, yeah, but like, God That's said it's not okay. Be like, no, he said it, we just can't have sex. Armpit sex. <laughs> but I can put my dick it's on your shoulder. <laughs> and I'll just shoulders kind of slowly move sex. it. Yeah, you just ready for a walk, so you're really Cover sweaty. So you know what I mean. Yeah, what is it? Right. No. What is it? Uh, Jamie. What is it? What do they call it Dude, when they like rub up against each other? Oh, I know. Someone is thinking about armpit sex right now. Mormon people, they. Oh no, no, they the soak. Freshman class. Promiscuous class That's what it's called. Uh, yeah. So anything cool. that doesn't cover at least this much of your shoulder is considered improper. Alright, you're that the Mormon the expert. Elizabeth do Pete, do Mormons actually soak? Yes, they do. It is considered a loophole in the Okay, listen. You don't I, know what soaking is? No. Okay, I will briefly explain it as uh, politely as I we possibly can. learning new things from you guys. You, you, <laughs> in, so you insert <laughs> the male part into the female part, and you leave it there with no motion, as if there is no motion, there is no sex, and it is not considered a sin because it is a loophole. And Oh, there's definitely a hole. That's why... <laughs> 
That's why people are getting STDs in the Mormon community before marriage is because they're doing these weird things like armpit sex and like soaking. And it's not as prevalent as one might assume, so like sister wild. wives or something like could you that. Imagine, like, However, it still exists. Could you imagine a Mormon going into the doctor's office? Turn it off. Or Jamie's still learning. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the answer? <laughs> uh, could you imagine like a Mormon going into the like uh, going into the doctor and being like, "Yeah, doc, what do I have?" And they're like, "Well, you have like pretty bad gonorrhea, bro. Like, it's <laughs> everywhere." And they're like, "What?" He's like, "I've never had sex before." And he's like, "What do you mean you've never had sex before?" He's like, "Yeah, I'd like I'm a virgin." And be like, "The only way you could get this much gonorrhea all up on your shit is if you've had sex." He's like, "Well." I soak from time to time. <laughs> I soak. <laughs> and they're like, what does that mean? Like, well, I put it in. But I then I just stay there. I just don't, I don't like, do cuddle, anything. Talk, be like, like what do you do? You just make intense eye contact. Talk about sexual anxiety. <laughs> like we are making it just they're just ruining. Like talk like how do you have normal oh, sex yeah. after that? I mean I Oh my ex You get married. To, my ex <laughs> you used get to married. Suck. That's what how you they, yeah. What if they leave the Mormon That's church? why they married that's why they can't have sex before marriage, because they don't want to know how bad the guys are at oh. sex or there'd be so many divorces. Oh, I wouldn't oh I'm so you glad. You tell me I you want to suck we're that. getting yeah. divorced, bro. You don't like, you don't think I'm that that's sorry. why religion made that a thing? So that like you can't have sex until marriage, so that like the guy can like Lock it down, and then he, she can't go it's anywhere so nice after she realizes she trust. got some lame yeah, dick game. Absolutely, but well, because all they want is a, is a legacy and a child, and some hot bitch to be like, "That's my mate. <laughs> I gave her a baby, and now that baby, that baby has my name. <laughs> now that That's why he's called half Albertsons. ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he gets that from his father. I ruined, he gets that from I his ruined her freaking bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> the kids like. What? <laughs> you snaggle too. Well, you think about it, it's like who never the fuck is like... the father? <laughs> Your brother? What the fuck? <laughs> is that a thing? It's the grizzly man down the street. Cocaine bear. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that one talking about Your transitions are so like jarring. Uh, Mormon dick soaking cocaine bear. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, so I'm talking about cocaine bear. It's a new movie like coming out direction. based off of a true story, but in the true story there was like no real details and it was I know, basically I like shit about it. Like it, w- it happened a little there, bit there ago. There has to be a PETA should be on. Like where's PETA? Where's Peter? Okay. Peter's where they you always are. Y'all gave some coke to there a bear the and we didn't know about it. the real it. cocaine bear story. So there's... Look okay. up the trailer. Yeah. No, not the trailer. No, we want the real deal. The real Snopes story. Snopes shit. Snopes it. Oh, big good stretch. stretch. For the big boy. This is the pod dog. Oh, my. This is Yeti. This is a handsome boy. Pablo right. Escobar. Of course he's behind it. Let's see, the true story behind Cocaine Bear, 175 pound yeah, beast, down. a dead Good drug boy. smuggler, and Gucci loafers and more. I love how they had to mention I what he was wearing. Gucci loafers, loafers. Yeah. Like, not regular loafers. Brand deal! <laughs> right, they're like, thanks for sponsoring the T- podcast, um, Gucci. Gucci, T- Gucci loafers. <laughs> 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 okay. So the cocaine was apparently dropped from a plane piloted by Andrew Thornton. Shout out to Andrew. Drug smuggler. Because um, he was oh, carrying too heavy history. a load while parachuting. Oh, he damn. said the uh, the bear f- was found Friday in northern Georgia among forty open to plastic containers with traces of cocaine. Dude, this bear must the bear have been. The bear could have consumed even. 40 containers worth of cocaine, which would have been about 35 pounds. Has anyone ever... Okay, put it in the comments. You ever consumed 35 pounds of cocaine? How I don't think you can live after consuming It obviously died. We knew that. But like, you can't. Why are we making a movie? <laughs> <laughs> you underestimate me, Seth. <laughs> why are we making a movie about it, though? So, it's like a terrible movie, basically. It looks really funny, but... It does. It's basically like this bear that is super irritable and high on cocaine and just attacks a bunch of people. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. He's just using the wrong verbiage. He's not going to do it. Yeti, lay down. Lay down. Bro, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Or maybe you can get back up on the couch. Yeti, (laughs) beat a piece of shit. Come here. Lay down. Oh, he just wants attention. He bored. Lay down. Lay down. 
Yeah. Good boy. You gotta Good get boy. the mom voice that comes to the TV. Yeah. Okay. True. <clears throat> he looks like a bear. He looks like a polar bear. Cocaine yes. bear. Cocaine bear. Okay, but yeah, this bear did a bunch of coke. And then what, like, terrorized the town? Or what, it just did coke? Like, Basically, how, it was, like, so many attacking. You pick that, pick that photo at the top right. <laughs> how did we find out? <laughs> He's like, how'd you figure out he did coke? Like, how'd you find the bear? I think they were like, why is this bear being fucking crazy? He killed it and then, and then we're like, blood tested it. Coke. They probably thought it was rabies. Yeah. They're like, so it turns out it's not rabies. He was they just like, on 35 it. pounds of cocaine. <laughs> they took Pure Colombian like, coca. Not CWD, not rabies, but instead he has actual cocaine overdose. Oh, he's cute. You know how hard it is to overdose from cocaine? Like, literally, like, that's why... Sure, it okay. takes 35 pounds, so... Yeah, for a 600-pound bear, uh, look, which I, isn't far off from Amberlynn Reed. Look, I don't do coke, but if I got my hands on some Did pure... Did you go to down? Do you know who that is? No, I know, but I know it's a person, and that's funny. Okay. That you just did that to that person. <laughs> she's 500 pounds, so... Oh, so she's almost there. You could do, like, 30. We've yeah. confirmed you could probably do at least 20 pounds of cocaine, person. I'm yeah. not a doctor and saying you should, but... What's the... Could. She's the size of a bear, so she can... But she can't run as fast. I bet his ass can run. But you have to look at metabolism. She can't run as fast. You have to look at metabolism, though, because I bet that bear ran through it rather oh, yeah. quickly. Rather Bay and I quickly. can do a lot more cocaine than you. That's for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bet, bet. For sure. <laughs> Together? <laughs> Next time. <laughs> We'd run the whole country by the end of that bag. We would, you would do a lot more cocaine than We me, would literally probably yeah. beat the cartel. Uh, look, I don't want to start any family trouble. <laughs> Like, don't you bring Gramps into this? Yeah. Stop. I don't want to. Thou shalt you know. not be named. Leave it. <laughs> I'm, I'm back to cocaine. Voldemort is in your family. <laughs> it's a it's a type. I don't know who's in my family. That's the real question. <laughs> you know how you know how concerning it is to be a Colombian that doesn't know who their family is in Colombia. Honestly, I think it's great. You can do <clears throat> lots of. You're very diverse. You can scare people. You can also be like, no, 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 we don't fuck with that shit. Yeah. You can also just be like, no. <coughs> you can grow Colombian coke in the backyard, yeah. and you can just be like, these are you just my coke plants. You can do it all. <laughs> we got a report oh. of some coke plants being <laughs> I mean, you can hide under. Oh, no, venga, mira mi plantas, mira. No son reales, mira, no son nada, por favor. They're like, just let's leave this fucking Mexican alone. <laughs> what does that say? So apparently Scots do the most cocaine out of every nationality. No, they don't. The Wait, no, no, no. I heard, I heard that Australians love cocaine. No, so I can tell you it's my single ex. Single <laughs> Scots on average do about 1.2 grams of cocaine in a single session. Did I just... Wait, hold on. 1.2 grams in one single session is from Scottish people? Yeah. On average? No wonder they can drink so much, though. That, that, makes, that explains every Scottish, every Scottish person. That's why we can't it's understand what the fuck yeah. they're saying. McGregor, I'm sorry. You make a lot more sense now. So England has a second house. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know for a fact that McGregor's on that coke, bro. There's no way that you can't Absolutely. be as hyped up as him. There's no way. You don't break your own foot and not realize it unless you're on you coke. You big. <laughs> nice to oh, meet you. Oh, good job. When he come guy. Scots also have the highest proportion of respondents who sought emergency medical care after drinking, about four point two percent. Uh, oh, shit, that's a lot. Uh, medical care? Med- who, th- who sought a med- uh, emergency medical care after a drinking session. They also have the highest. Because they're doing 1.2 grams of coke on average per that session. that shit over there. Yeah, it's basically... Oh my nasty. god, the Irish whiskey? It's disgusting. No, that's Irish. That's Irish. That's, that's not different. Scottish. Irish. Please don't. Sorry, guys. Don't come for me. I'm Sorry, just a white bitch. I'll say, I'll, say white I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. They're basically the same. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I'm glad someone of color could say it. Oh, you want to Europe is oh, Europe is so funny because like. Take over, man. Come on. Come on. You go. Go ahead. This is your time. Your time to shine. Get up here. He's got to sniff it out. I'm going to move back. He's like. Okay. Welcome ah. to it. He just... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 
Europe, Europe is so funny because, like, they're the same amount of way from, like, each country than we are from, like, a state. Oh, yeah. That Texas is, so good, is yeah. bigger than, like, most of Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you can go, like, you can, you can go from England to, like, Turkey, and I think, how long? Look it up. Jamie. This is so great. Wait, take your guesses now. I'm going to say one hour, 43 minutes. I'd say, where? I'd say three hours. From England to Turkey. England to Turkey. Fly. Mm. Driving. No, driving. They don't fly. They drive. You can't drive. They over metro a themselves. River. No, Look drive. up the metro. England, England to Turkey driving is forty-one hours. Via That's England. why I said three hours for flying. How much flying? I mean, that'll get you to like what Tennessee from here. Uh, 41, 41 hours? hours. You could get no, to I mean, almost to California. You could get to Vegas. Florida. 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 You can Bullshit. get to Vegas in 41 hours. Um, okay, let me just tell you, because I've done it twice now. I've driven to Florida <laughs> and back in 24 hours. Not back, but... Jesus two, Christ. Two in 24? 24. You were going like 120 miles an hour the entire uh, time. Andre, <laughs> you were on yes. the bus, bro. You were on the bus. I was right, three hours. I have driven a For like four and hours. And I was going like an average of Andres, 90, and it still took us about 30 You hours. were on the bus. We drove to Florida on that bus. It took us how long? It took us two days. It took us 24 hours. Look up the oh, distance. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Look you're right. Look the distance from Denver, right. Colorado to Las Vegas driving time. Look. Thank you. I was distracted also, I on that ride. Also, I and it took us like not uh. even, we stayed like once. So, okay. Two days, you're right. <laughs> Jess and I went on a, a, uh, a lovely church trip to get closer to 11 God. 11 hours, 23 minutes to get from here to Vegas. And that's what solidified our friendship, honestly. It was God. From you, Denver to Vegas. Okay, so hours you, you could probably make it to New York in 40 then. And at least 20. <clears throat> Almost to Denver. 28 hours to the middle of... 38 Florida. hours. You were right. God damn. 28. Is it 28? 28. To the middle of Florida, not to the tip. Yeah. Well, think, go to Miami. I drove to like Tampa. No, Miami. go to New York from D- Denver. Like go to New York. Long. I want to see that one. People do it. 26 hours? That's it's it? closer than Florida? Yeah. New York is closer than Florida. Because you have to Florida. go through the South to get to Florida, and the yeah. South takes for fucking ever. It does. Forever. It's like Kansas after Kansas after Kansas. Gross. It's, it's mine. Except it's raining it and racist. Mind That's mind. it. It's a oh, dude, so The mind. two R's. The two R's. Raining and racist. <laughs> I drove to Florida. I drove to Florida, but we had to go through North Texas. We took that route instead, oh, and oh my god, have I never, like, seen nothing for so many miles. It was ridiculous, dude. <clears throat> it was terrible. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> Wait, like, did we go through on our little trip in the south? We went through Mobile. No, we didn't go through Mobile. We went through some scary places in the south, though. Like, they wouldn't let us have the windows down. What? <laughs> they wouldn't let us get out. They were like, girls, you cannot pee at this gas station because we're in, where were we? Montgomery, Alabama? Where, Where are we? <laughs> this yeah, we, had to get out. we had to get out and like hide in some <clears throat> church in the south because tornadoes were coming and we were all gonna die. Oh, oh she, yeah, she, Jess, Jess and I had to. Jess and I had to stay in a what, like a court building or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like where were we? Arkansas or something? Uh, I don't know where yeah, it was. Arkansas. But I just remember Arkansas. like I remember being like so hungry and wondering what oh. you know what was going on and like I, out of nowhere like someone knocks on the door. L- look, listen, there's a tornado going outside. You can hear it. Like she's you can, holding a dog. Like, what's uh, and like this like. This delivery person just comes like, <laughs> oh like from fucking Pizza Hut, dude. Like, <laughs> and I was like, holy shit. We were shit. in a museum. We were in a museum in like some weird little town in Arkansas, and they like opened the like museum, and all the citizens were like coming in, and we were like, we were there with this little town, and wherever we were, like hiding from a tornado, but we ordered pizza, like as a church group. Oh, Imagine no. getting that call from yeah. like Pizza Hut, like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're in the museum building. We're at evacuation. We're fine. We're a church God. group. We believe in God. We're fine. We're saved already. <laughs> Can we get a large pepperoni, please? <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Though. Are you okay, ma'am? <laughs> We just have 30 kids with us, so make that four largest, please. You want that right now? (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) We're fine! (laughs) And then, like, just 
seeing this poor woman just drive up. It was dude. crazy. It was crazy. I can't believe she did it. But, like, it was nuts. And we're all just sitting and, like, we're all... Yeah. For it, hours. For hours we're in a museum. Everybody, all, like... Everybody had their own little, like, couple groups. Yep. Their little Well, we were groups. sorted by what yeah. school? It was, like, Ponderosa, Elizabeth. Uh-huh. It was, like, your clique that you came Shop in. row! And then it was, like... <laughs> the, the problem children of Elizabeth, so it was like Andre and I. <laughs> like, whatever. Okay, I call break. I need another beer. <laughs> uh, um, beer break. <laughs> I need one as well, and also. Uh, okay, you guys want to wipe clothes from my stash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any snacks? Yeah, snacks. I just ate a whole ciabatta, but... I was gonna say, I got bread. <laughs> Can't eat bread. Nobody can eat it. Baby. I just ate it. I just <laughs> no one can it, eat it. So. Sorry. <laughs> You're like eating a whole bag of myself. Yeah. Carbs. I ate one. Yeah, he's like, are we playing ball? Should I pause the recording on this? Is that Joel? They just, they're kissing <laughs> Joe Rogan's butthole right now, and that's why they're not listening to us. We're making very good points over here. <laughs> Uh, hold on, I'm a, I'm a feminist. I'll sit down. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Wait, are you ready, dude? Are you ready, dude? Oh, ready. Are you ready, dude? Ready. Uh, so what was the problems that you wanted to air out? I just like... <laughs> I care so much. So I'm here. I'm open. I'm a new man. It's okay. The patriarchy gets many tongues. I understand. Tongues? <laughs> <laughs> the patriarchy silences women. Have you not heard of this? Damn, feminism ain't out here, folks. <laughs> it's, it's all a lie. <laughs> they've been lying. They've been lying to us. <laughs> they've suffered for what? Oh my God! You, the you, suffragettes <laughs> died for our sins. <laughs> you guys are like, wait, we have equal rights. <laughs> we can vote and not have to work a nine to five, and I can't support my fucking child if they have to go to daycare and I have to work at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. You guys make more than us. <laughs> Seventy-two, like money. 72 yeah, dude. cents cool. per dollar yeah, dude. on average across yeah, dude. America. Not in As, Wyoming. It's a suffrage state. I get it. I get. <laughs> I get what thirty. I get thirty-two cents. I got 32 cents on top of it. Imagine if it was just we got 32 cents. <laughs> you just flipped it around. Dude, in Alabama, minimum wage is still like 5.50. It's like fucked. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but Alabama's like the wild yeah, they're west, also bro. Still like, like, it's here the it's like Basically, it's the minimum. It's what minimum wage was mm-hmm. back then when Alabama stopped colonizing, I guess. <laughs> you know in the 70s, you could be hired as a mail sorter for like... Four dollars and like seventy cents, and that was equivalent today for being paid thirty dollars an hour. You probably do make thirty an hour at some places as a mail sorter. Are you real? Like I real? wish they have machines Dude, for that now. Sign, like, a confidentiality it's like the Grinch. Or, like, an NDA. They have the yeah. mail sorting machine, dude. Uh, oh. I imagine it's like working in an Amazon facility. It's like you're like you're just sitting next to like a robot doing your job, but like way faster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> competing the whole day. You're like you're like taping this like box like super <laughs> slow, and then this like this machine next to you is like. <laughs> so, do you want a personal story? Do you want a personal account? I worked at an Amazon warehouse. Let me expose some shit. Don't order. Don't, Anything fragile from Amazon, broken. Broken. Your TVs hit the ground multiple times. Yeah. Ooh. They put my ass at the end of the assembly line. I was on XL packages and the end of the assembly line. Our podcast so like, is currently powered <laughs> by a Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for the job, Jeff. Like, it was super great, but I should have been benefited because yeah. I almost died multiple times. You should have not hired me. Like, d- I wouldn't have been like that's Look, discrimination. Jess, like no man, you saved my life. If you're Don't gonna if me. you're gonna sign up for Amazon, you have to die with the cause. You know what I mean? I almost died with your fucking TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? No, I, I imagine I imagine like Jeff Bezos comes around with his bald head and it just like shines this light over every employee and they just like instantly hit yeah, the you floor. Do. You hit the floor, you're like, you got a bad own. <laughs> it's done. Don't look him yep. in the eye. And he's just like 
<laughs> glistening. Just, just glistening. <laughs> like, it's just so bright, you can't even no, see him. No, he's not even the person. He's not even the CEO. <laughs> he doesn't own Amazon anymore. He sold it. He's a silent partner. He's retired. Jeff? Who? What? He's not retired. Jeff? He doesn't. Jeffrey does not own it. I'm pretty sure Jeffrey still owns it. Jefferson? No, he doesn't. Jefferson is. Google that shit. Hold on, hold There's on. another person. He might own. Like he financially owns it, yes, but he's not in charge. Damn, Jeff lets you go, dude. No, I never really got fired. I they called me and they were like, "Hi, we're really worried. You haven't been to work in like a while." And I was like, "Yeah, I don't live in Albuquerque anymore at all. It's been like two months." And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, like interesting." And they were like, "Can we ask you why you left?" And I was like. Mm, one of your managers at your other warehouse is kind of really believes in polygamy, so I left. And they were like, <laughs> oh, and then he goes, can we get a name? Because that's not really our values. And I was like, do I do it? Do I give him the name? Do I do it? And then I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> name, employee code, email address, fuck you. Congrats on your promotion. <laughs> God damn. He probably got fired, too. We both got laid off, but not by Jeff. <laughs> it sounds like else. you were already out of the state. I was. How can, how can you get laid off from a job that you've already, I, like, physically I, that's left? That's what I mean. Like, your TVs are hitting the ground, and they don't even know I'm not under them anymore. So they're like, what happened to this little I'm just imagining, point? I'm just imagining, like, a conveyor belt of just, like, 60-inch no, TVs. Just yep. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Like, Polar Express level shit, but, like, faster. It's faster. Where's that, where's that girl that we put yep. on TVs? <laughs> <laughs> we specifically picked her because of her frame. We wanted to make sure that these things would not get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like two weeks. There's just like a giant thing of like TVs. I'm not really. even kidding. All of your Christmas presents broken. Every Yellowstone like box. Why would you bring the Christmas broken. presents? Broken. Could you imagine somebody got like an order, but you like it was only you? Like their account was only. <laughs> Why is everything showing up broken? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was my second day. Sorry, they put me in charge of it all. I didn't know what to do. It's going like thirty-five miles. An really? Hour. No, that thing no. hauls ass. Like if there's not enough people on it, it really does. <laughs> Here at Amazon, we care about efficiency. That's why we'll give you benefits until you die. You're like kicking the box. The fucking robot next to you is like poking you. Stop it, Jeffrey. Stop it, Jeffrey. What if that? What if like all his robots just like are like turned against him? That's no, what I asked. Oh, well, okay. Th- I mean, that's fine. We can add that into the story. <laughs> The main preface, the main thing I was trying to talk about was I think it'd be hilarious if he had a bunch of, like, robots around, but they all look just like him. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know. Jeffrey won. Yeah. Jeffrey two. actually there. You don't know if Jeffrey it's the real five. Jeffrey or if it's, like, one of his... Ro- You're just, like, sitting there, and like, next to, like, Jeff Bezos, like, oh, hey, how's it going? Amazon is great, huh? Have you ever tried Prime Video? <laughs> You're like, I don't like this job. Man. Yeah, you should this try. Guy. I mean, if you ever want to just experience something, go ahead and work at Amazon. And then if you're a good if bot, you, think you can your go life drive sucks, for us. Work at Amazon. It sounds and like you the free think it world. Sucks sounds so like it sounds like you have like a midlife crisis, and, and you then you just go and work for Amazon. You think I'm kidding? Or you get out of jail and you go work? You at think Amazon. it's books, yeah. and it's just not. Books. Amazon definitely needs like people, like. It's, I get, not, it's never booked. Think, think about what books. the Amazon warehouses are going to look in like 20 years. It's going to be an underground a, yeah. cave, a shell, a bomb silo, a missile silo. I'm more imagining like, I'm, I'm more imagining like a shelter. You know what I mean? Like, like a homeless yeah, shelter? Like, yeah, like like people are giving birth in the corner. They're, pretty They're living much in the boxes. Like that the refrigerator boxes. Yeah, the bigger like, ones. S- like cell phone cases. They're just like shooting out of this like one. Have yeah, you guys shoot. never been in an Amazon warehouse? Nope. It's literally what it is. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I can say that. I'm not employed anymore, so my NDA is not valid. So I can tell you all this. Their robots are rogue as fuck. They're just going. They're falling over. You have to wear steel-toed shoes because their robots will just run you over. Yeah, dude. Cause, like, cause get Jeff out of the is, way. Because Jeff is pissed because he's not the most, like, most, like, loved... Tallest. 
And, and the most tallest. He or is both, with the though. best hair. You know? Or Doesn't with the prettiest hair. face. If you can't, okay. If or you with guys... the smartest brain. Or with the most compassion. Or wife in general. Oh, his wife. His wife is now the second most rich person in the world. He's no. married? She's she the, I think she's divorced. The, I think and she's now the second richest person in the world because she divorced him. I'd marry Bezos to divorce him as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was we, there since the beginning. You <laughs> state this as if it's not fact for any person, regardless of sexual orientation. You could take the straightest guy ever and he's you like, You're gonna give pay? me like a billion dollars. Would you dollars? be gay for pay with Jeffree Star? <laughs> Would I, what, what? I thought we pay? just established Jeffree Star as With Jeffree Star? Yeah. He's I don't know. Would you be gay matter. for pay with Jeffree Star? I think, I think maybe if he could, like, keep his voice under control, you know? Like, I can't, I can't handle, I can't handle some That's dude. what does it for you, is the voice? The voice, I can't Not do the voice. Not his completely contoured face into a woman. I can't it's do it. Look, voice. I'm a musician. I live by the ear, okay? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> You can close your eyes, but you can't stop. Right. You're right. Yeah, and plus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Perfect. I have both my ears. Really? Really? Oh, yes. (laughs) I mean, he's beautiful, but like, really? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's not like I'm like waiting at a bar being like, I have Jeffrey Star comes by. I don't know. (laughs) Even as like a dude. Shot Brad Pitt or Leonardo DiCaprio. Shows his. Like the tattoo, I don't know. Just even as a dude, I don't think. No, my one cheek gay exception. Like, damn, your cheekbones. My one gay exception is is Ryan Reynolds, just like any other guys. Fair, that's fair. That's like the that's the equivalent of male. Like yeah. yeah. See, girls don't like him. Girls don't like Ryan Reynolds. I like Ryan Reynolds. I don't. But do you find but, him sexy? Mm, I don't like him as like oh I think he's so hot. Like I like him as like his little family man, and I like that he's married to, like, oh, I, just, not I love him as a person. They're so <laughs> cute. But, like, no, I don't like him. No, I, I hate like, fucking Deadpool so I don't so much. like I the way like he treats Blake Lively. Really? Yes. Oh, get some. Get into that. Hold on. I haven't watched more of that. I'm completely by. I'm, like, Team Blake, but, like, is he a dick? So, if he cheats, what I've noticed, Megan Fox got cheated on. if, if you cheats, pay attention, over. it just It's seems, Ryan Reynolds. It just like, seems he as have if he pussy. is Deadpool. He, he never has plays... Blake Lively. Why would you... He could have any... He has her. Who else could he have? What? The cheater fucking that Liam had? Fuck her. Katniss he could probably it. walk into any Midwestern town and get a Sister Wives coalition going in under 15 minutes. So I just, I mean, I think he has options. I do think he has some like nurse, like hidden, like he wants to be the center of attention. Yeah, and when Blake is a very mm. funny and clever That's why woman, she wears pantsuits, and she makes a lot of jokes, That's and why Ryan she wears will pants literally suits. just like take over, <laughs> and Ryan will like make the joke all about him, Blake, like every single. No, you, you they're know. hilarious. They like they do all kinds of jokes on like social well, media loves together. His kid. Like yeah, like they'll loves cut. Kids, like I think like, one time, like she cut him out of a photo. Uh, and like posted oh, it to, just to out. show, yeah. yeah. And then he like, then he just did like a, like, he cut her out of the photo, and he was like, "This is." Only she cool. drew her what... shoes on on a They're photo just, like, one perfect, time. Though. With, I don't like, know. I, I can't hate on him. Yeah. I can't hate on him. It was him. really funny, actually. She's still... I can't hate on him until he. What's cheats. what's their age gap? I'm not Dang. hating on him. I just think that he should let her t- tell her own jokes sometimes. I was a firm Liam fucking fan. <laughs> I'm just okay. You feel so strongly about I this. I do. You're the only person. 11 years? Yeah, that's No, what... he's, he's going to fuck her over. I he's can have gonna... an Who's older? Him. He's going to fuck her over. It's done. It's over. What, like, nope. 90% of fuck. the time it's it's the guy that's he's older. He's a fuck. Sorry, Ryan. Speaking. Sorry, sorry, Blake. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, I bet he's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah, I think he's funny, but I think he's also pretty. He only plays the sucks. same character in every single movie that it's he does. It's the douchey dude. You're right. I think that's all. He, he plays is the same guy. Deadpool. Kind Deadpool of like. Deadpool isn't Deadpool. Uh, Ryan yeah. Reynolds it's is like Deadpool. The one dude. Yep. Yep. See you if there's a new trailer for the new Deadpool coming out. I heard that there's a new Deadpool coming out. Maybe that's what she likes. Maybe she's a douche. You know. Maybe they I bet you, dude, like, she was fucking she's Gossip a Virgo. Girl. She's a Virgo. <laughs> she was Gossip Girl. Douchey, she right? has to be a douche. You're right. A good douche, though. She's the best yeah, douche. Just look September up Deadpool Virgo. 3. I, no. I mean, <laughs> August I think <laughs> that she Bless would be... So you were in a sorority, right? I think yeah. that she would be the meanest, most popular sorority girl. For sure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Like, Absolutely. just... Like, oh, she, she was... Be, de- she's definitely a bitch to woman. She yeah. is. I know for a fact. Oh, yeah. But I know... Yeah. But she, like, loves men. Yeah. yeah. She, like, loves men yeah. around men. She's like my mom. Men, yeah. But she can't deal with women, you know? But that's a good thing, because Kinda literally like most her. of the <laughs> most of the people that want to fuck them are men anyways. So, isn't that funny? Like, he becomes the, like, epitome of masculinity, and he's just like... You, this it, 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 there had to have been a time like when they're at dinner, you know, and it's just kind of awkward. She's like, "What's wrong?" And he's like, "I'm just looking at the internet." And there's like all these guys saying that they like want to fuck me. It's fucking weird. <laughs> well, honey, you know that this is a thing that happens every year. These guys talk about how they love your dick and how they you're so Ryan funny and everything. You're <laughs> so Ryan funny. <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, but it's just weird that like I have all these groupies and it's just a bunch of straight dudes." Literally, I swear to God, I think gay guys don't even like Ryan Reynolds. I think it's only straight guys that because like they Ryan think that they want they want to be him. Yeah, they want. They're uh, like, oh my gosh, that humor is so he's funny. He's like a man crush guy, not like. A... I think that's. I think that's how. Yeah. I think that's how women discover that? that they're bi. You know, like they like they look at a hot girl and they're like, I want to be her. But then they're like, I want to be in. Her. I want to be in her too. You know? Yeah, <laughs> interesting. I feel like that's a lot of girls discovered because they're like, oh, she's like so pretty. Like, I would love to be her. You know, that reminds me of that uh, that one horror movie about the the horror the, movie. Yeah, there's a horror movie about like a college <laughs> like a college roommate, and they like they like you know discover each other for the first time. Oh my gosh! And, and then like she ends up person. she ends up being fucking crazy yes, and like all her called? everywhere. And doesn't she like change? Yes. She tries to be her. She's like crazy. And she like gets the same yeah, yeah, tattoo yeah. and like Trust dyes me, her honestly, hair. Like, as a girl, we've all had one friend. Isn't that, that like, called the roommate? Of doing that? Isn't that called literally Jamie. the roommate? Jamie, it is called roommate. the roommate. It's called the roommate. <sighs> Drop that was. But you always have one girlfriend that's Jenna like, da. <laughs> I don't like this. I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's her. Do it do a trailer. Scary. I'm so glad I didn't have a roommate in college. Yes, it's this one. Isn't this also Blair Waldorf? Rebecca. Boom. Dude, she's in everything. Oh, and this chick, she's always crazy. <laughs> I can imagine being like 12 or 13 around this time, be like, Mom, I want to go see a movie. <laughs> She's like, Why do you want to see this movie? It's like, I'm expanding my horizons. Yeah. Feminism. Just feminism. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is feminism right here. You know, women should be treated equal, but also brutally murdered. And equally, <laughs> you know? Is that Brad Pitt? No, it's the one from Burlesque. Oh. The hot one with the eyeliner. I was just thinking that too. <laughs> He's got that. He got that Brad <laughs> side profile. I know. I was like, wow, what a. They're both Brad. hot, dude. Honestly, <laughs> that Latina-looking one is like. She's like, we've been scissoring. <laughs> This chick, what is she from Ally and AJ? Yeah. Do you know they're going on tour? I was shocked. Damn, she just got violated, son. White girls be getting away with everything, bro. Like, how did she, how did she do that? crazy. Did you really mean to set that man on fire? She's like, it's no. Right. I dropped the it lighter. Was, it was She's a like, silly mistake. I you know, I do it all over. It's my time. anxiety. <laughs> I yeah, but how long ago did that come out? What does that say? 2011. 2011. That was a while ago. Yeah, jeez. I don't think that was the one that I was thinking of, though. What was the one where she pretended to be her? I think that was, like, something day or whatever. Uh, it was, like, a day that would called? continue over like... and over again. No, it was, no, like, her roommate was like... pretended yeah, yeah, to yeah, be yeah, her. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. I don't know what her name is, though. It was, like, not Carrie, but it was, like, um, had a similar 
look to it's it. That, it's, it's that <laughs> movie where that girl wanted to play, like, soccer, and, but the no, boys wouldn't accept her. And then she, 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 like, was trans that's for, like, a summer. She's like, I'm going to be a boy. <laughs> but then she, like, had started <laughs> having gay feelings for, like, another guy. <laughs> no, that was Amanda Bynes, and, and she was pretending, and she was... Trying to pretend to be her brother. It was all about soccer. It was not well, about Well, she fell in love with her God. brother. It was not Real about fucking me. fast. Yeah, and then she flashed her titties on the field. Yeah, so. <laughs> Feminism. Fe- feminism. <laughs> <laughs> it was so she could play soccer, not be a whore. <laughs> yeah, she's really good at soccer. Well, she soccer. was doing both simultaneously well, very well. Whore soccer. They're both pretty easy. <laughs> like she was like in the changing rooms like if you switch this I around <laughs> if this guy is just like this guy like I want to be a gymnast he's a pedophile like he's not allowed no dude I don't know what it was called single white people <laughs> single white people 1992 that's like your guys' bio I guess just you Jess I'm a 96 Maybe it is the roommate. Maybe she does try to date her. Did you ever Did you have an uh, American Girl doll growing up? Yes. Okay. Did you know they came out with a retro line and they were born in 1998? Dude, I'm 24. What? I'm 24. My fucking yeah. So you're. I'm 24. I'm not retro. You're retro. Dude, that's not retro. You're retro and I'm dirt. Dude, Dude that's one of the reasons why I don't want to have kids because I know that they'd just be like roasting me all the fucking all the time. time. Or be like, "Wow, Dad, how like, do you relate to them?" Like, that's real retro, know. and I'm like, "What? <laughs> Did you do? You said this is retro?" It's like, "Yeah, it's giving kind of throwback vibes." <laughs> right? giving- you don't throw back me. You don't throw back me. Okay, don't make me do the nay nay. Like, whoa, bringing it back, Dad. <laughs> My kids Shut are up. You don't even know how to Dougie. Shut right? up. <laughs> you don't know what real memes are, okay? <laughs> you ever heard of a rage card? Will they even have memes, though? <laughs> like, will memes even be a thing? Or it'll just be like, no, Dad, the wall said that you just suck. Or no. are you giving each other brain no, transmission? Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, your kids are going to be able to hide yeah. so much just because oh, you don't even know how to <laughs> Funny chemical in my brain. It's just gonna be a bunch of end, like, like literally everyone just. Did you just look up how attractive is Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, you, uh, you guys. Were, <laughs> I had this open earlier. You guys were actually right on this. Somebody did a test. Um, <laughs> back, straight men actually do find Ryan Reynolds more attractive than queer or any other gender or sexual demographic. Oh, wow. this was a. Good this guy you. did like a whole like TikTok survey. <laughs> Still on average, straight men I came prepared. I read the packet. <laughs> on average, straight men read eight point three, gay men about seven point one four, and bi pen men about eight, uh, six point nine six. So oh, more bi eight point three. Damn, he really isn't that hot. Like Ryan Reynolds. It's I, it's just. Is it because he's like too ma- like too obtainable for a gay man? Like he's like standard gay guy like. You know, no. and like I don't think most gay guys add a little bit ripped. better no, tasted his... clothing, and he's like, eh, like his, every other one. like it's his, it's his humor, and his like confidence. That's true. That's the big. That's the big thing. It's, it that's is. It. It's that's the it. ego. It's the yeah. douche on the outside, simp on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. You Live feel... it. Breathe it. You feel like right? I mean, this is the last, this is my movie, life. The last movie he did. Stay loyal to it. Stay loyal to it. The last movie he Eat did it for breakfast. was about like <laughs> it was about like some kid that like he had to help like that came from like the future or something like that. Oh, the Ryan Project or something. The, Ryan, the Ryan Project. Back to the future. I swear it was called. That the was Ryan. the back failed back project back before. To the future. It's not Back to the Future. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the one with the. the car. The suicide doors. Yeah, that's uh. Back to uh the future. No, you got me fucking my mind's only thinking back to the future, goddammit. Because <laughs> that's what it is. What are you talking about? Stop bringing up back to the future! <laughs> yeah, what is Dera- that? Called? Derailed this Don't entire worry. thing. DeLorean, not a Mandalorian. The Mandalorian? <laughs> <laughs> What's the Mandalorian? <laughs> I could just, I could just imagine like some Star Wars world. They're like, here comes the Mandalorian, <laughs> and then there's just like, then there's just like, it's the, the, same the Delorean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There's a man next to the Delorean. He just comes in this car. 
Mark. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen this kind of ship before. <laughs> the man and the dude. <laughs> wow, that's like an actual thing on Disney Plus. I thought I made that up. <laughs> nope. Well, can't TM that. No, fake forges on Twitter. Mandalorian. Mandalorian, almost. <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> wow, you're so late to the. We're all so late to this joke. This is already... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> People have so much time. The fact that there's like multiple of these. Time after time. Mandalorian or Mandalorian. This is like completely unrelated to the song you were singing, but did you like Top Gun 1 or 2 better? Top Gun 2. Top, Top Gun. Top Gun 2. Okay. Are you fucking we're kidding me? Are you kidding me? They, they okay. literally oh, filmed in real it jets. It was the same You literally movie. saw them flying the through if the you're fucking make a remake, air. Just call it Top Gun. Don't add a 2. Why do, no. You're mad about the title? No, they I'm mad about the fact that millions of dollars movie. doing these stunts and it's some it white the girls just like, movie. I don't like the title. <laughs> you could just watch the first one. You could watch the first one. Tom, it's the same person, too. He does the same shit. Yeah. It's the same movie. It is the same movie. So why did you make it again? Because it looks sick. That's it. It looks the same. It's That's the, the same. whole thing. It's the same. You know what I mean? Also, you've created this whole generation of people that think Lord. they're gonna go be these hot shit little pilots in the air force. Look, and think it's of not. Hold real. on, I have a perfect analogy Kinetic. for you. Okay. What's kinetic <laughs> about the film? Nothing. It's like, it's like you take. That's what it says. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> the original Top Gun has the kinetic edge, while Top Gun Maverick has Doesn't the high tech like edge. Basically, it's like one was mean? made for millennials and one was made for. Look, know, look, 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 look. Okay, hold on. Let me let me explain Top Gun too. Okay, it, here's the thing: is that like Top Gun one is like that one really hot girl in like the late seventies. Her tits were fucking perfect, right? <laughs> Right up in there, right? Yes. And then she then lives on to like be a a, a, a great age. Those te- those titties sag a little bit, but then she gets the like the perfect pair of tits. This world is ever fucking seen. Okay, like yeah, it's like old school, but it's also no new school. We put school. lipstick on a pig with Top Gun. Uh huh. Like the writers <laughs> didn't have to do any work at all. They were just like, yeah, so fair, fair. we're just gonna do the same love thing. They're like, yeah. Definitely. And they're Same like, love thing. can we and just copy and paste? Just add or like, something to get yeah, the twelve-year-olds involved, but add what's his fuck from Footloose? What's uh-huh. his name? Mikey Miles. <laughs> Mikey <laughs> Teller. <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> the one that's not Kevin. My answer is Kevin Miles. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a whole different show over here. <laughs> <laughs> what is Kevin Bacon? Kevin Bacon. <laughs> what is the price of Kevin Bacon? Kevin Bacon? <laughs> Are we auctioning off Kevin Bacon? My cousin Bacon was right in the remake of that movie. Footloose? Yeah. What? Yeah, Julianne like Huff. That's a better version. She was like the main bitch. Your cousin is Julianne Huff. Yeah. You're full of shit. No. Are you serious? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Like blood cousin. Yeah, she's my. Uh, Are you blood related to your cousin? Wait. So Wait. my blood cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the ritual and everything? Are you one that? of them blood cousins? <laughs> no, wait, really? Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah, she's my mom. So my mom's last name is Huff, and she's my mom's first cousin. My mom changed her diapers. She's a few years older than me. She's like thirty-two or something like that. She's like stellar singer, stellar actress, stellar. Like, yeah, and Derek better Huff. Better than Blake Lively in and, every aspect. And Derek Huff. And Derek, yeah, he's fine, whatever. Yeah, he's but nice. She's the main she, he's nicer only. than she is. Really, is she a bitch? That's gonna piss me off. It's gonna bit. piss me off. She's all right. I she's knew okay. It. Oh, that makes but me mad. But she's the reason why she's divorced now. I'll just put it that way. Damn. The family talks. I was gonna ask if I could get like <laughs> the hookup. I don't want to meet her. All right, get Derek. Can we get Wait, Derek? Wait, who is up in who, here? who? Who is she? No. I want to dance Look with rough. Derek. Can Derek just like? I want to dance with Derek. Can he just too? flip me around like I know what he's doing? Like just flip me around. I don't even care if you draw me. It's fine. It's there, my fault. Is it because you like younger Tom Cruise? No, I don't like Tom Cruise in general. I just the first movie was better. It was better. You can't. You sang the same exact song. What person from that generation knows that song? Makes no sense. It was sick. Got a cut of cut. Stupid. 
We, dude, <laughs> this is the ADD podcast. This is going to be the most, like, people are like, what is, wait, they're talking about what now? <laughs> What's going on? Well, and now, I don't know, after Footloose 2, everybody, or not Footloose 2, fuck, what is it called? <laughs> Top Gun 2? No, not Jennifer. <laughs> Not Top Gun. Dude, see, now we got Jamie all mixed up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking He's about? Over there. He can't focus. He's like, Geez, what's going on? <laughs> this is his first day. He's never done this before, which is even like funnier. Like, shout out to shout out to our our first. Yeah! <laughs> You're doing a great job. Uh, right what's your cousin's name? Julian Huff. Julian Huff. J U L I A N N. Okay, whether she's H O U G H. Bitch or not, can we get her on the pod? Probably not. Why? Dude, she because she's yeah. That sucks. We'd have a better chance with Derek, and I still don't ah, think that would happen. Get Derelik up in here. Derelik. What was she in? <coughs> Safe Haven, the Nicholas Sparks movie. <coughs> she's in the remake of Footloose. Footloose. Oh Hello. yeah. Oh. She's a this country bitch. singer. This she's bitch. So she's best known for being a judge on Dancing with the Stars. She started when she was 18 after spending like 10 years in Britain classically training in ballroom dancing. Damn, bro. Your then, cousin's hot. Yeah, I know. Hi, yeah, I know. You didn't see it. You've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> the Sorry. whole family looks like this, bro. That's why I'm pretty... It's just it just is fluid through Pops. the entire family. Props yeah. to the Huff family. Yeah. I yeah. know, guys. Yeah. But no, can we get Derek up in here? I wish. I got some. I got. Some, I got some hot ass, hot ass family members. That's how. Shane it'd be. Dawson lives like thirty minutes away from us. Have so. you ever watched Mad Men? How? Do- <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, there's some hot family members, and they're like, Shane Dawson lives next door. <laughs> Did I know that? This is the <laughs> worst podcast ever. <laughs> For guests. I didn't oh even my know god. Who that I was hope. I hope day. that if you guys have stuck around since the beginning, <laughs> troopers, truly troopers. I hope you're writing everything down because there's going to be oh, a test on criminal. this. <laughs> there's going to be a test on this. He gives me the creeps and I don't even know who he is. He knows Jeffrey Star too? Yeah, they're homies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they so did a makeup circle. collab together. Full circle. Do you, guys, do you guys remember when there was like, uh, there was a rumor that, that Jeffrey Star was hooking up with Kanye West? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because yes, they were not both, they were like the two famous people in Wyoming. Well, because they, they both to be like moved to Wyoming, yeah, uh, like out of nowhere. <laughs> There's other got, things like... to do in Wyoming than have sex with men. See, Kanye West, Jeffrey <laughs> Star, right there. That's it was actually know. the top result when I started googling it. Maybe it you should look up Con- Jeffrey Star football player controversy because that was hilarious. I thought we figured out who and it was. then, no, he was a different, it's a different guy. It's Tom fucking So the same Brady. guy, he wanted to promote his podcast, <laughs> and he was also 6'6 six, six in the Zell. NFL, and didn't play on that weekend. <laughs> he wanted that's the divorce. <laughs> See, that's a different guy than the guy that was doing the podcast. Dude, are we shocked that half the NFL is gay? No, we're not. No. Are they, we already knew Are that. they all concussed into being gay? Maybe. Probably. Well, that's why they murder people. Yep. What? <laughs> so that's the guy that has a podcast. And that's... So Jeffree Star exposed the man, supposedly, who was in the orange jacket, which is the original mm-hmm. picture, as being this be guy and things. being on his podcast. That is not the same fucking man. No, it's not. It's you grew your hair... hair. Four inches mm, no. in two weeks? No, the ears aren't even the same. That's no, what I'm no. saying. The ears are completely It's different. not the same. That guy either. has a build like a... He was like covering a, his ass. Yeah, like defenseman type. Of, well, like if you played hockey, you'd be like... Uh, that guy was like, I'll take a podcast promotion. I think it's yada, that yada, one. Yada. I think it's that one right there on the bottom. Imagine... The Panthers guy. Is that a Panther? What is that? What are you? Carolina. Yeah, it's you, something clear to NFL. Maybe it's him. Don't no, they're not so that pointy. Insecure. No, it's not his ears either. Imagine it's being Gronk. <laughs> That's who it is. Not Gronk. It's him. The whole East it. Coast. The Carl be. Massive. That's what I thought it was. Didn't we figure out it was him? I thought someone said it was him. No, it's the other. It's not that guy. It's. Could you imagine working your ass off to get to the NFL, like? like and you end up grueling through star. pain and just like you know going through it and then all of a sudden like your parents are like so I saw on the internet 
that you're hanging out with Jeffree Star in Wyoming. Did you guys do anything? No, Mom, we just had a podcast. Okay, what kind of podcast? <laughs> a Stop, naked podcast. Mom. You can a, tell me, honey. But an NFL player. I like these questions are funny. Confirms his NFL boo. That's not him. It's literally him That's in the TikTok, bro. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, I know. That's why he <laughs> exposed him as the same one, but it's not the same person in the picture. So Jeffree Star is just hoeing through the NFL? His oh. hair is way no, too she, long. I, I'm pretty sure Jeffree Star said that he, like, he gets more messages from uh, rappers than anything. There, there's a I've bunch heard of, rappers yeah. are, like, super gay. Yeah. They are, like, super gay. Yeah. Like... It, it, <laughs> Same with UFC fighters. Which is, like, wild. I mean, like, if you look Tyga at... really likes trans girls, like, with, like, real asses. With... <laughs> so specific. With real asses. <laughs> okay. It's true. What? How did As you get this information? I watched a video, like, three years ago on this. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, some Chris. random YouTube yeah, video. Three years ago. Uh, facts. Yeah, Kitty K, like, dude, it was from the Kita Dragon, bro. Boom! Why do you think they're all? Ooh, the Kita Dragon got because arrested three calls months them ago out for being gay, and they cap him. The Kita Dragon got arrested three months ago for being naked is. in a yeah. public hotel and a public hotel pool and throwing water on a police officer. God damn, dude! You get a pair of tits, you don't know how to act. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I wouldn't pour water on a cop just because I had deep tits. She was facing mean? five years. I don't know. Years. If you got, if you got, you know. She was if facing were big five enough. years for pouring water on a cop it's and being assault. naked in a public pool. She's lucky she's not a sex offender. Yeah. You so, pee in the Walmart parking lot and you're a pedophile. They bro. put her in the men's jail. And she's she like fully transitioned. Well, she's fully transitioned. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. If you're going to make yourself a controversy, don't do controversial things. Yeah. Like, after you do it. If you go to jail, you can't be like, oh, this jail sucks. Like, well, it's kind of like, you know, don't be yeah. Justin Bieber and then go <laughs> pee in the fucking pool. Most like, jail sucks. You know what jail used to be? Jail used to be like, like, a, like a fucking dungeon. Like with rats. You know in Russia, they make you stand. And a dog for like with a keychain in its they mouth. They make you stand. Yeah, they make you stand for like majority of your day. You get to sleep, like laying down, and that's it. The rest of the day, you're like standing in most most Russian prisons, and Jesus. it's because it's like it's prison. Like no, you don't get rights here. Look up the black dolphin Russian yeah, prison. Yeah, it's terrible. And they put like masks over you when they walk you wherever you go, just so you can never ever figure out how to get out. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you can get disoriented real quick. Look up like a video. And they have those huge dogs on the outside. What are they called? They're like bigger than, what's his name? What are they? Tibetan Mastiffs. They have like a bunch of those outside. So it's like, basically, if you escape, you're just going to die. Oh, yeah. And the guys with guns. Oh, yeah. And it's just, <laughs> you're in the middle of <laughs> Siberia. Those, those exist, too. Colony number six. A federal penitentiary in Russia's Orenburg region, commonly known as the Black Dolphin. A prison notorious for housing the absolute worst criminals in Russia. Black Dolphin is an ultra-secure penitentiary, which only accepts inmates sentenced to life in prison. What's more, no one has ever escaped. About 700 prisoners confined in the facility were convicted of a range of heinous crimes, including serial murder, terrorism, child molestation, and even cannibalism. Look at that, dude. That guy looks crazy as fuck. They still get cool hats, though. Like, even I take one of those hats. Prison, you you will cool be in jail, hats. but you will also be fashionable. <laughs> you will look like a good model. Yeah, so they, so they carry them around like this everywhere they go. Mm-hmm. So they so can't when see where they're going. Yeah, so when they're... So when they're... Only when they're in their... Like their cells or they're outside, they can like they can sit down and do this. And if they kill each other, it's just like nah, yeah. damage control. Yeah, whatever. Russia's oldest prisons. It was established in the 18th century and first mentioned in historical texts. And they just barely keep you alive. Like they don't have to keep you alive. Like you get like enough to not die. Yeah. In the year 2000, only accepting criminals convicted to life in prison. I know it has like the world's scariest little like animated dolphin outside too. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. So and you know, don't go to Russian prison. Don't bring Russian cartridges to Russia either. Oh, you yeah. will go to Russian oh prison. Oh my gosh, WNBA. 
Would you rather have a dollar cards. or a WNBA ticket? Fifty cents. I don't know. I would. A uh... dollar is a free McDonald's fry if you have the app. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's this hilarious, like, if you look up, okay, before you go, <laughs> look up WNBA fail compl- compilation. It is the funniest thing. I had to cheer for women's basketball, and it was just the worst thing I've ever known. Yeah. And I only had to do it as a punishment, because I was late for the men's basketball game. W. <laughs> nothing happened. So tall. <laughs> 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 what is going on? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Down she goes. You just know they have like a lot of. Water. Like, you know how the volleyball players get that? You know the women's basketball players are just covered. Oh, yeah. Like, they're always eating shit. Always. Mm-hmm. So you know how they always say that, like, the WNBA is, like, wood. underpaid compared to the NBA? Did Why? you know that if Why? you're talking about the amount of money that the organization makes, technically, I think NBA players make about, like, 2 3 4%. Well, and the, like, WNBA players get, like, 30%. Of the total gross income of like the entire of like the entire like WNBA. organization, I'm so really technically they're the better paid. Uniforms pay. though, I like the blue. They definitely get the cuter uniforms. There's this look up this hilarious. It's like a a girl's high school basketball basketball film, <laughs> and it's like this video of just like nothing happened. Like literally, the ball is like flying all over the place. And then we'll and we'll call it a night. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is just a high school basketball game. This, uh. is <laughs> this is just youth sports in general. Oh, so uncoordinated and lanky. <laughs> They'll grow into it. They will. <laughs> Maybe They'll, not. Yeah. Well, yeah. Who knows? They'll either grow into it or out of it. <laughs> who one knows? One Maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll end up in a Russian prison. <laughs> you know? They, so many things can happen from this point on. You know, you can get a normal job or you can end up in Russian prison. Or you could sponsor this podcast. From Thank a Russian prison. Wait, okay, you know that girl, what's her name? Uh, the, the girl who got sent to prison. I love how everybody had her name in their mouth like a few the carts, weeks ago. The cart girl, yeah, the weed weed chick. What's yeah, her name? Brittany Griner. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know that Brittany. I saw this. I saw this. I saw this photo that said like Brittany Griner like flat chest. Look that up. It literally looks like she ain't got no titties. I don't think she. There like there are literally people that were saying that she's like trans. <laughs> I don't think she's trans, but. Just think she's like unfortunately flat. Ch- Go to the other one. She's butt ass naked in that. Right there, right now, on the left, bottom left, bottom left, right there, no, up there, yeah. Look at that. Interesting. That ain't no titty. That's very interesting. That's like mm, a. That's a man's. That's breast. a man's breast. Do you know what she looks like? Those kids that are like the island boy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're gonna do Britney Griner like that. She just got out of prison, bro. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's oh, changed no. for a gun ja- lord. Jamie She's with gonna the kill fucking... me. I'm gonna be murdered. <laughs> if you don't see me next week, I'm in Russia. Isn't that wild though? <laughs> like she straight up just like did not have any titties. I mean no, like that's crazy. didn't look like, like she, she had the, doesn't look the like she got scars titties. either. Oh true, yeah. So, you know, usually those breast reduction, like they got they come with like nasty Maybe scars. She was an elite gymnast. Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> Thanks. Could you imagine if a guy did this? Like kind of looks like me. Could you is that a real photo? I think that's a dude. Phoenix Mercury Brittany Griner. It doesn't even look up like a... on the is that her... SPN, the magazine body issue. That is Brittany Griner. You you can't look, you can't do this with Shaq. 
Well, no, he has a penis. Shaq's ass <laughs> all There would be a <laughs> thing in them. Like. A little. Well, I don't... Well, we know that I, it's big? We don't know. I'm pretty damn sure it is. You don't know. Her feet are flat. Has anyone ever confirmed? If, if literally a five-inch dick on Shaq would be like you couldn't find it. Like, that would be so tiny. Just compared to, like, how... I know, but, like, maybe his Shaq wife is just, like, wrestle. he's so big in the like, rest <laughs> of it, I don't even care. <laughs> Did you just look up, Chad? Damn, bruh, he got that Shucks weapon on him. ass in the surge the bar. Fuck? <laughs> I like it, that's funny. It's definitely bigger than Brittany Griner's. So. I'd rather see Chad than Brittany Griner. <laughs> to be honest. Damn. Oh okay. Shaq went on Logan Paul's podcast and said that every time he goes to a zoo... Um, all of the gorillas go like ape shit and like come yeah. To the bring glass. up that bring up that video of like sh- Shaq at a uh, dude. It sounds so bad Shaq saying this. <laughs> Shaq ape story. <laughs> go no go on video. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> he made the joke. Okay. He made the joke. No, down low. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, no it's Jake Paul. Impulsive. Up. Jake Paul. Impulsive. With the, up. With the yeah. ginger, that one, yeah. Tyson. What happened to Mike Tyson? Is he still raging, raising pigeons? Is that a thing? What happened to all those? Did we ever, like, were we just like, no, you can't have a pigeon show anymore? Doesn't really I, think that, that, uh, that, I think he created that, Did Peter finally get to him? I think he created that baked bird <laughs> brand called Tyson. Yeah, okay, put it, up, put it up, put it up, put it up. <laughs> Dude, that. That's why they get the okay. square foot now. That. So, don't move. So, I'll go up to them and like I'll mess with them, and like they all come to the glass and they all do this. <laughs> Every zoo in the world, like they just go crazy, just go to glass and go. So, huh? Which animal did you say? The gorillas. That's where we met. It's just like so every city, every zoo, and they all so they had this one Yeah, uh, bro. They they're like, How the fuck did you get out? Yeah. How did you get out? Damn, that's wild, dude. That's wild. Alright, well, I think this is a good end to the pod. We had a fun night tonight, just kinda of messing around, getting ready. Uh, for tomorrow yeah uh, we are doing so much we are leveling up our playing field here we're making it look better because we are devoted okay and so we need you guys to like comment subscribe you know the whole thing share it up let us know about any things that you think might be better for the pod we're open to suggestions right now okay uh, otherwise, we have episodes every Tuesday and Wednesday. Be sure to click that notification button on YouTube so that you get a ping every single time that our episodes come out. We will also be on Spotify and most streaming platforms by the end of this week. So be sure to keep it out. All right. Thank you, guys. We love you. Okay, be safe. Praise Lord. And then, Padre de los dos y todo mío. Por favor. Bye, guys. Ugh.